Are they worth hundreds of dollars or basically nothing? Hi YouTube, I'm Amy. Welcome back to my closet or my living room as the case may be. I'm the rainy day shopper and you can find me on Poshmark, Instagram, and right here on YouTube. So if you have not subscribed, it would be awesome if you did. What I'm gonna be bringing you are things that I'm sourcing, stuff from my own closet, some of the mistakes I'm making along the way, because this is only my third week on Poshmark, and there are some things that I am just figuring out, and there's some things that I need to get done. So if that content is interesting to you, it would be awesome if you would subscribe. Um, click the little ringy bell so that you get notified. I do make new videos every Wednesday, that's my goal. Though living out in the country, my internet is kind of crazy, so last week's video didn't get uploaded until Friday. Well, part two, because I had to split it in half. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm here for, that's what I'm doing, and hopefully that interests you, because this week I have some updates on sales, a couple of items that I sourced that may be interesting, and then a whole range of clothes, some things I've sourced and some things from my closet. And I think I'm gonna split this up into two parts because my internet's being so weird. So I'm probably gonna do the sourcing stuff in this section and then I'll have a part two. Yeah, that's two, one on each finger, right? Hand, mm, I can talk. Um, a part two that has a stuff that I've pulled from my own closet to add. So hopefully you're ready for this. I'm gonna try and go really quickly because I need to get back out into the garden and get ready. Um, get things watered tonight. I still haven't eaten lunch. I should do that. It's like six o'clock. I'll get there eventually um, Yeah, so I work part-time and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark. This is my third week This week has been great. I've had more sales. So so far in the three weeks I think I've sold six items, but my last item I just sold was a bundle of five things and that was interesting um, a really awesome person decided to buy four things and then there was some confusion over a discount so I had to cancel the order which I didn't realize means that you can't just relist those items you have to re-up them so I had to do some extra work there that was a great thing to learn but I was able to add in another dress for her and as soon as she purchases that again I'm gonna pack it up tonight and get that shipped out so that was really cool and actually the problem with that is is that my closet is almost empty most of my, I've sold a lot of stuff because what I did last weekend was take pictures of every single piece of denim that I have sourced. Now that doesn't include the denim I own, so none of my plus size denim is ready to list, but my internet has been so weird so I've not been able to list anything this week, which is kind of odd and feels a little weird because I have so many pictures of things I want to list, plus so many things that I need to get listed. Um, mostly because they're really cool items and I wanna share them. So I'm gonna start sharing right now. If you happen to watch this and you see anything you're interested in, this weekend's gonna be a little rough because we are getting ready for my mom's celebration of life party. If you are new to the channel, you may not know that my mom has been battling cancer for 20 years and about three years ago now, two years ago, three, um, she got the news that her cancer was back and it was stage four everywhere cancer. She has been fighting since that time. I mean, she's just crazy. Um, but we're getting to the end of all the solutions. So she decided one of the saddest things about funerals that she's attended in the past is all the people who say, gosh, I just wish I could have seen so-and-so one more time, or oh, I haven't seen this person since we were kids, and I really wish we would have seen each other. She said, you know what? As long as we know we're getting to the end, I want to have my birthday party and a celebration of a life party and I want to see all the people that I haven't seen in 50 years. So we literally have over 200 people that we know about coming out to the farm uh, and we're trying to get ready for that. And that's a little uh, stressful with everything else going on in spring and oh, starting a new business. So yeah, I'm working on managing that all and getting that ready, but I may not get a lot of stuff listed or photoed this weekend just because there will literally be 200-ish people on the farm. Yeah. So, that said, if you see anything you like and would like me to list it, send me a, a message here on Instagram. I mean, no, this is YouTube. <sighs> Slow down. Send me a message here on YouTube uh, or go into my Poshmark closet and drop me a little message and I will get those things listed as quickly as possible for you. So, 
because I know I have three whole subscribers. I know, I know. I'm just, you know, super big on the YouTube. But if you're joining me, that's awesome. I really appreciate it. Let's start, start looking at some stuff. Now, some of the stuff I have is totally the wrong season, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, this is a super cute studded vest. It is just adorable. It is from Lois in Spain. Weren't a lot of comps on the site for it, and I'm not sure if I'm listing this one or giving it to one of the adopted relatives. Um, but it's really cute. So if I don't give it away, this will be up. Um, starting with the vest end of things, because that's what's first. This vest is so cute. I don't know if you can see that or if it will focus on it. Yes, look, it's 101 Dalmatians. It's a Disney and Tyrac uh, collaboration. So it does have the Disney logo here. It's an extra large. This is silk. The back is acetate as is normal with vests, but it's just so cute. So cute. Oh. Okay, this is kind of cheesy. Let me come back here. It's just this denim vest that people, someone has taken and put some beading on, some little pearl beads and some little flowers. But it could be so cute with just a little skirt. Something could be fun for a festival or a costume. I just had to get it because I just couldn't let it sit there looking sad. That is the best portion of my haul. This, I'm not sure it will do well on Poshmark. Um, it's D and Co, Denim and Co actually, but it is this really pretty embroidered. It has uh, coral, peach, some sea foam, and it's just actually super cute. Um, so I may try it. It's obviously getting into the wrong season for it, but I have it now. I need things to list because I can't empty everything out of my closet. I do need to wear a few things, but it's nice that I am filming videos because then I can put on dresses I don't wear anywhere else. Um, let's see. This is just a really nice duck coat. It's a Tommy Bahama. It is an extra large, great size. Has patches, let's see, let me come this way. Patches on the sleeve, the same material. And it is just, just really nice, good quality. Looks, hardly worn. I mean, these coats are supposed to fade a little bit, so it's been worn, but it's um, just really nice, good quality. So someone should want that, I hope. I don't think Tommy Bahama is selling as well as it was before, but that may just be me. Okay, I got this. Again, the coat, but it is a Mickey at Disneyland coat um, lined with like a sweatshirt fabric. Otherwise, it's a rain jacket. And on the back, it's got Disneyland, Mickey Mouse, and then 1955 on it. And it's in such good condition. So good, this condition on this. Um, yeah, and it's a size extra large. So, and it's got the, and I don't know if this is, it's a Disneyland Resort tag. And I don't know if that's a new tag, an old tag. Um, so I need to look that up, but it's just cute. All right, so this, one of the YouTubers I watch who thrifts a lot loves wolves. So I had to see this, I saw this and I had to get it. It's just a fleece wolf coat, um, really nice. I, there was a little spot here when I got it, but it came right out when I washed it. And so um, it's a little, pil like the fleece is not super, it's a little worn as far as fleece goes. It doesn't look all smooth. But it's just really cute and it's got the graphic all the way around. Sorry, I just thought I saw something in the pocket there, but there wasn't. Um, so that's cute. This is just an Adidas. So these are all things that I sourced. Oh, well the jacket I got this weekend at a rummage sale at a school. There weren't as many good things as that, at that rummage, rummage sale as I expected because it was in a pretty ritzy kind of area, but that's okay. So this is just a Climacool Cool Extra Large. Um, I think it's a men's extra large, but really it's gender neutral and just has the Adidas logo on it. Oh, and there's a fuzz, give me the fuzz. 
So that's just cute. I think Adidas is selling pretty well. This is not a super fancy one, so it's not the old school logo, um, which I think does a little better. But someone should want it, right? This is, I don't know, I don't know what that team is. If you know what that team is, I have no idea. Can you see that? Let me see here. I don't know what that team is, but this is just a Nike um, extra, extra large team um, pullover. It's in great condition, really good size, but I have no idea what that team is and I need to figure it out before I list it. So if you know, leave me a little comment below. That would be awesome. Oh, that is super bright. Hello. Um, lighting. This is a Reebok. Um, this is, I think, vintage. There were a couple list. Oh, there's a snag there. I don't know if that was there before. Awkward. I think I can pull that back through. Um, but it's in really good condition, aside from the snag I just saw. It's just a nice little windbreaker. It says Reebok on the back. Really pretty colors. I love the gray and maroon. Um, and this, again, is an extra, extra large. So it's a nice color. And a nice size. This is, I had this a while ago. Just a little um, drawstring front, extra large Diane Herman. It is just a nice olive green jacket. Would look really great with jeans. Um, yeah, simple, basic. I think it's Diane Herman. It's hard to read the tag. The cursive, sometimes difficult to read. All right, so at the sale that I went to, the rummage sale, they did have this gorgeous coat which I'm tempted to keep it is from Chico's but it has this really pretty embroidery on it look at how nice that is and it's just in great condition um, it's a size one which I think is a 1x I haven't tried it on because if it doesn't fit me I'll be sad but then I will sell it which I should do anyway um, but it's really pretty I know it's the wrong season We'll get to some summer stuff, I promise. Um, so, Saturday was a huge day. I went out to go to the rummage sale first. I got there right as the doors opened. Um, and it was crazy. I was like, whoa, these people, I'm not prepared for this. I needed a cart. These people have wagons. I grabbed like three pairs of shoes, which I'll show you that I didn't end up keeping. I just went around grabbing a whole bunch of stuff and then went through it and got it down to about half. I think I got 17, 18 items. So I left there. And on the way home, I stopped at a plant sale and bought 30 plants that I need to actually get planting, which is one of the reasons why I'm talking so quickly. Then on the way back from that, I was like, okay, I'm done. There's some other garage sales in the area, but I need to get home and work in the garden. Way home, I saw a sign for an estate sale. So I turned around and went to find it, almost gave up, but made it there. And it was a literal estate. And when I say estate, I mean multiple buildings. The place that the estate was in was like this 10 sided building, um, three stories high with a crow's nest on the top, giant timbers and cedar posts with wraparound stairs. Amazing. I mean, if I had money, oh, the things I could buy. But they did have a few pieces of clothing. clothing. This was like a second sale I think they had. I missed the first one. Um, but so they didn't have as much clothing left and I'm sure some of her stuff they sent to specialty places because this was like an estate, but I did get a few pieces there. So, and then I was driving a different way on the way home when I went back, almost went by this road and then turned down it really fast. And as I'm going down there, I see a yard sale sign. So I go, I go past it. Then I notice I went past it and turn around and went back to that. And that's where I got this. Oh, I also got the Mickey Mouse um, jacket there, but then I got this which is a Harley Davidson Las Vegas cafe jacket. It is super worn, it's distressed. I mean, this has been the person who rode this, who wore this, rode bikes, shotguns, all those kind of things people do in the country. Um, but it's live hard, ride easy, Harley Davidson Las Vegas cafe. Um, it's just really cool and it's a great size. Let's see, what is this? Is this an extra large? No, it's a large, but it's a, it's a nice oversized large, has all the buttons, just really good distressing on it. And I don't know if it's original, I haven't seen one like this from the Las Vegas um, that's exactly like this. So this is a pretty good find, I think. Harley Davidson 
seems to be all the rage now with the young whippersnappers. Um, oh. But the day before that, I went to oops, another uh, sale, a rummage sale at an, one of the old folks' home. And this was just a really cute Coldwater Creek denim size 2X jacket. I'm deciding if I'm keeping it or not. It's like a rose. It's really a pretty color. It's not really coral. It's more, it's more reddy, but it's not red and it's not pink and it's not, it's kind of salmon, but um, it's really cute. I haven't looked up. There is, I think one on the site listed for this and I haven't checked the comps. Uh, usually I double check all the comps when I am. Oh, that's interesting. I just noticed it's missing buttons. Well, um, I'll just disclose that. Or maybe I'll keep it because now I have a really good excuse to. I don't like wearing buttoned up jackets anyway, so that works for me. Um, oops, this one needs steamed. This is a Bryn Walker shirt and I looked up some comps and it was, I actually got this for mom. I need to steam it. I just got a little wrinkly. Um, Really nice, I think it's tensile. I saw the listing, where to go? Yeah, 100% tensile. Um, but the comps were like 35, 40 for sold. So I might not give it to mom, I might sell it. I found her another pink shirt that's a little more comfy anyway. Um, this is, because it's tensile, it's nice and it's a good weight, but may get hot in the summer. So don't worry, mom will still get a pink shirt. Um, one of the things is because of the cancer, she's lost a ton of weight, so I keep having to buy her new things. Um, this was at the estate sale. Oh, okay. Yeah, so one of the things for sale there was a Wells Fargo wagon. And I wish I could have gotten a better angle to get like a good picture of the whole room because I would share it to you. Some of you out there who are resellers and who thrift and do all, you would have been drooling. It was amazing. And the day I went, it was 50% off. Things, the clothes were still a little pricey but I still got them. I did negotiate them a little under 50. I probably could have pushed more, but I'm a little shy because I'm a newbie. Um, this is a cachet size six leather jacket. Um, really good condition. Just a nice short crop jacket and the comps on this um, are pretty good. I haven't decided exactly. Like I said, I usually do the pricing after I photo and write down all the measurements and then can think about it a little bit. And this week I have not been thinking about it because I've been doing way too many things, getting the farm ready, one for spring and two for a giant party. But I still went sourcing because I wanted to. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, the wrinkly. My rack is to, what I do is when I take the pictures and get them done, I take them off this rack and put them in a closet that I have there, um, which fortunately I've been selling out of, so it's not super full. This is just a really cute 100% linen, basic, oh no, linen cotton, uh, basic edition size 2X. Just a cute little like smocked painters kind of smocking um, jacket. It's cute, nothing special. I sourced that, I can't remember where I got that from. Um, but it wasn't this weekend, it was from before. I just haven't shared it. This was at the, this is a Pendleton size large, 100% wool, of course. Um, just so cute. Look at it. It's, it's blue and red and green. I thought this would be awesome to list around Christmas time. Um, and it's Pendleton, so it's a great brand. They, they put little dots on it. I don't like the dots. I can't get them out. So I'm a little frustrated about that. But otherwise, this literally has no pilling on it. It's such good condition. I'm sorry if my lights are all crazy. I feel like they're very bright because it's kind of bright outside, but it's getting towards a place where it's going to get darker. So I'm just going with it. Um, oh, so this was at the, look at how pretty that is. This is 100% wool. Let me double check and make sure I'm not lying. Uh -huh. Yes, merino wool. Um, this was at the, this is one of the good things that I found at the um, rummage sale at the school and it's Wilfred. And the great things was, is after I found it, I was watching one of Common Tag's 
um, Courtney over on Common Tags. I was watching one of her videos of a haul that she just did and she, she pulled out this sweater. I was like, hey, that looks kind of like the sweater I just found. It was darker, but I was like, that looks very similar. And then she started talking about it and mentioned it was Wilfred. And I was like, I think that's the name of the sweater I just found. Then I felt pleased with myself because I recognized it. But she also gave some really good advice that when she lists Wilfred with, this is a brand from a store, when she lists, and I wrote it down, I don't remember it off the top of my head because right now I'm apparently just going a mile a minute. Here we go. Um, but when she lists it with the brand from the store, it sells better. So I thought that was really helpful advice. Thank you so much, Courtney. Um, love the videos, actually. She's just gotten started and is doing awesome, apparently, it seems. There's a little pilling on this, but hardly any. It looks almost new. Um, okay. Uh, this was from a thrift store I go to. And how could I not buy this? This is a green dress with pink flamingos on it. I may be keeping this for myself. I have not tried it on. It says 4X. Let's see where to go. It says uh, 4XL, but there are no other tags of any sort in it. I don't even think there were care tags. I just washed it and hung to dry. Oh, no, there was a care tag. But yeah, poly spandex. Yeah, and so it just says wash dot colors separately, but I washed it and hung it, which means it needs um, steamed, but it has a belt. And now I'm not a 4X, but if this is, it's made in China. So if it's China sizing, it may or may not fit me. And it looks like it has a pretty good chance. So I don't know if I'm listing this one. I'm sorry, because it has pink flamingos on it. Plus I'm selling all the rest of my dresses. I, I need some more, right? That doesn't make any sense. Um, this is another one I got same time, just really cute graphic black and white print. It's also a 4X has these cute little fold over pockets. Um, again, haven't tried it, so don't know if I'll be listing it. Now this one looks like it has a little issue on this seam here. Uh, it looks like it probably had a belt and someone cut a belt loop off, is what that looks like. Yeah, but otherwise in really good condition. And yeah, so cute. Uh, I found this. Uh, which is a fig and flower. Oops, let me find the shoulders here. Really pretty, just sheer, so pretty. Fig and flower, um, which again, most of the listings for this, I've, there are some, like I found matching ones on Poshmark, say anthropology. I don't know how to prove that it's anthropology because I haven't had luck looking at the RN numbers yet. I need to figure that out. I, it's like, apparel search. There's a link to the .gov site and I think I'm doing everything wrong, but I already talked about that. I'll figure it out eventually, just not this week because this week is really not about that. So yeah, got that. Um, this, just a really cute sundress. Can you see that? There you go. Um, so pretty and it looks like literally like it's never been worn. I got that at the Roman sale. It is a uh, Hannah Anderson let's see if you can see that size eight so I don't think it's a special brand or anything but it was just so pretty for summer that I couldn't pass it up um, just a really cute dress this dress when I saw it I was like ooh, that's pretty and then when I looked it up I was like oh that's pretty um, this is a Rana Gill, so I don't know if you can see that, um, all the way full. Don't mind me, I have bare feet because I'm inside and usually you can't see my feet. Um, <laughs> but it's so pretty. Rana Gill is anthropology. It has this lovely beaded neckline, this really pretty detail, and comps are anywhere. Well, there was one for $6. What, people? What? Um, this is a size four. There were comps anywhere from like 80 to 200, but most of them were like in the 100 to 135, 150 range, which if that is true, this was quite a good purchase. If it's not true, it'll still be a decent purchase, but um, there are a number of them on the site, so it's not like it's super rare. I could not pass up this shirt. Um, even though 
Lauren Ralph Lauren is not super high end. Um, this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's the Safari, but just look at the detail on those pockets. I could not pass it up. It's so cute. The shoulders, um, the snap buttons on the sleeve. It just is so cute. It's 100% cotton. Has lots and lots of details. I know that the green tag Ralph Lauren is not the best one as far as that goes, but I figure someone will buy that because it's a really, really cute shirt. And it's in really good shape. Very good shape. Um, this actually was a, I don't know who I was watching. I was watching someone and I had just heard of this brand for the first time the night before I went to the thrift store and I found this. It's Rails, it's a medium. There are, I didn't notice of course until I got home, a few little snags and then, can you, whoops, oh hello. Don't mind me as the camera just decides to fall over. <sighs> um, <laughs> let me try that again. Let's see if this shirt's gonna be sassy like that. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it. Right there, yeah, right there, there's this line that looks like it's a snag, but there's no missing fabric. It's just a weird line in the print. So I don't know if it's where it joined or there's a repeat that was off. So it doesn't seem, there's nothing missing there. Like when I, you can feel kind of where a snag is. There's not a snag. There are a couple of, I saw one here. Um, just a little, oh yeah, there's a little snag right there. No, that's just a, that's just a hairball. I thought I saw one, but otherwise, this is so soft. It's so soft and pretty. Again, wrong season. Definitely a flannel. What is this made out of? Uh, hand wash, hang of coals, hunter. It's just rayon, but it's super soft. Mm. So pretty. Good comps on that too. Um, oh, that goes in the accessory section. This is just a cute little George skirt. It's a size 20W, which I think, because it's a British size, maybe smaller, maybe more like a 16. Yeah, that feels like it wouldn't fit. So that, let me see, that feels like it wouldn't fit totally. I could probably get it on, I should try it. But it's so cute. If I try it on, I might want to keep it. But I'll try it on so I have a better um, way to describe it. It's just really cute. There you go. Um, yeah. It's a good, cute little skirt. Sorry, someone just sent me a text, so I was reading it while I was talking to you, and I wasn't doing both well at the same time. This one needs steamed. Yeah, back there. Um, that's an accessory. So I'll put that down in the accessory end of the things. Um, winter, winter. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna skip a couple things, but at the sale in the school gym, that was a rummage sale. Now, I don't know if these are going to be super exciting or not, but to me, any kind of leather pants seem pretty good. And these are Harley Davidson. Now, there is a little wear, where'd it go? Just a little spot, like a worn spot right there. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, probably not, eh, no, no. Um, there's just a little worn spot right there. Like someone got it scuffed. Get it? It's you wear them to ride a bike. Um, these are small, so I don't think they're men's. Which I think men sell better in the leather pants than the ladies. Um, let me see if I can show you this tag. Hmm. So what happens when I button things up properly to hang them? So these are 34 six women, I think W. Um, there's the tag, and I don't know if that's a new tag or old tag. Some of the comparisons I found online are different. I need to do a little more looking. Um, but yeah, it's lined 100% leather, then polyester lining. But they're Harley Davidson pants, so I bought them. I had to pay $5 though. So we'll see how those do. Uh, I don't know what to expect yet. Those are legitimate pants though, so at least I know that. Um... Uh, I was kind of bummed about this. I found this at the the yard sale. It was in an actual greenhouse, and it's just cute. It's um, Club 13 Tattoo, so it's a local place in Oregon. Um, but I did not notice when I bought it, and I don't know when this happened, but there's this, like, bleach spot right there. 
I can still sell it. I thought about just tie dyeing the whole thing because it's not a special shirt. Um, it just says Oregon Body Art Center at the back. So it's not, su oh my gosh, the brightness. I am so sorry about the lights. Maybe if I just turn this off, hold on. Now if I get too dark, that'll be an issue. But that doesn't seem too dark. That seems better, which I probably should have done that earlier. Okay, um, there we go. Oh yeah, I think that's better. Hopefully you can still see it's not too dark. Should have done that in the first place. I uh, got that at that same spot. Got this grumpy, um, because I love grumpy. Who doesn't love grumpy? And this is a Disney, and I think it's a, it says it's a 2X. I guess that probably fit me. Um, it's fleece, and the fleece is a little pilly. I mean, it's not like, this has definitely been worn, but I figure someone will love it, because who doesn't love grumpy? Um, let's see, just a graphic t-shirt with some skulls on it. This I think is what, no boundaries, just a large, just a basic, um, you know, waffle knit, but it's kind of cute. There's a star on the sleeve and I figure for fall, this will be good. Some people, this would be great actually in the summer for those cool evenings by the beach, you know, just throw it on with your skulls. All romantical like uh, this was also at the same place it is uh, that was the third place I went sourcing on Saturday sorry phone call um, let's try that again so this is from the third place I went it is just a polo shirt size extra large um, Harley Davidson here but on the back which I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Bears and Roses USA, Harley Davidson. There's a little cracking back here. Motorcycles, Bend, Oregon. So it's local-ish on the other side of the mountains. Um, I just need to steam that collar. But really good size. Easily be tucked in with the high-waisted jeans for people who like to do that. Worn low, you can even belt it. I mean, if you're a girl, as a guy, obviously, it's a guy shirt. Um, or it's not a guy shirt, it's just a shirt. So. I thought that was cool. Again, don't know how much of a call there is for that, but we'll see. Let's see, sourcing. This is just a cute graphic tee. I really love Moons, and this is a local brewery. Um, so Olympic Club and Spa Cafe on the Quest. This is McMinimins. And it's just a really nice shirt, nice and soft t-shirt. It's a, not a big size, I think it's a medium. Yes, it is a medium, but it's cute, you know. It's not going to sell for $10 million, but it's a cute shirt. Oh, that one's inside out, so I'm going to put it on. Uh, at the, these need straighten up. So at the estate sale, I picked up these. Um, this one is a large, and is this the cashmere or is this the merino wool? Hmm. There's one cashmere and one merino wool. No, I don't remember which is which. Let's look at this one. Oh yeah, this one's a cashmere and it's the wrinkly one. It needs steamed so badly, but it's got actually a little checker pattern um, woven in. Yeah, you can see that. Um, so just a nice cashmere, size 46. Don't know what size that is, have to look that up. So this one is merino wool. And I just picked those up because they're nice basics and male or female would look great, good colors. Not so great for the season, but still. We are almost done with the sourcing portion of the video, which is still way too long. Oh my gosh, I have shoes and accessories. This is going to be longer. Maybe I'll do accessories in a separate video. Ooh, I might do accessories in a separate video because that's where things that are potentially worth a lot of money are actually going to be. I'll think about that. Um, these two shirts, no. Let's do these three shirts real quick. So these three shirts I sourced, um, this is untuck it and I saw this at the store that I a little thrift store I go to a lot and I got my dad six shirts there someone had dropped off so many good shirts from Nordstrom's and these probably the same person um so I got him like six shirts and I didn't get these because he doesn't really like black and not really his color there was another shirt that was similar to this one um but then I saw on I think it was Savannah uh over street savvy who mentioned I'm Tuck It and that it did really well. And I was like, I thought that sounded like a good brand. It just felt good, it looked good. So I went back and got the last two that were left. Um, and then there's this one, which is a proper cloth shirt. And I 
have not found listings on Poshmark, but I did figure out Proper Cloth makes custom made to size shirts. So these are just three really good condition. Um, this one I'll probably list soonest because these other two are darker, not so good for spring or summer. Um, but yeah, just three nice gentleman shirts. And I have gentlemen's pants too, but those aren't as interesting. So I'm not going to show those right now because I think this video is almost 40 minutes because that's a lot of stuff. And I am going to, no, I should show you the accessories now. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the accessories now. And if the video, it's going to be like 40 minutes, it's going to be an hour. Some people have really long haul videos. I don't have as much stuff. I just talk more. I'll get better at this. I promise. Um, yeah, we'll do accessories now. We'll see if it'll actually upload. So, um, just a couple cute little things. This belt I found was so cute. Won't fit around me at all. So I'm not even, well, I guess I could, I can do it this way and tie it in the back. I guess it would tie on me. Actually it would fit if I wanted to do it that way. So do it like that, tie it in the back. Oh, that's cute. I should keep it. Um, doesn't go with this dress. So just a really cute belt, like faux tortoiseshell in different colors strings to tie so you could tie these in front but i'm sure they're meant to tie them back because otherwise you can't see the cool belt really cute so i picked it up uh, it doesn't have any marks on it i got so much stuff at, i took two bags with me but not big enough bags because i got shoes to the rummage sale so i bought this bag to carry things in and it looks handmade it's really good quality has some pockets on the inside it's probably reversible if you wanted it to be but it has some um, two pockets on the inside. Just a nice bag. So I'm probably gonna sell that. I don't think I'll keep it. Um, because everyone, this like yellowy tan color is kind of in right now. And it's a little more muted. I like bright colors, if you hadn't noticed. Um, so that one, gonna list. Oh! This I got for one of the friends of the family. So I'm not selling it, I'll just show it. But it's so cute, look at that dress. There's another really cute one I found, but I already gave it to the, the girl I found it for. But just super cute, so I had to pick that up. Because who doesn't love a prairie style dress? I always wanted to be Laura Ingalls Wilder without the hard winter and things like that. Um, and plagues of locusts. So, let me just pull these over, some bags I got. This is a new tag. Just a really cute little wristlet bag. It's got a little thing. And it is made from saris and silk and cotton, um, all studio art studio company. There are a few listings online, doesn't sell for much, but that is so cute. If I don't keep it, I will sell it. Um, this is a really cute little bag. It is like woven, uh, rattan, I don't know. I know what it's called, but it's not. Has a bamboo handles, um, and there are some comps. It's or does it go? Sunny, Hawaii, so it's in Hawaii. And it's just a really cute little bag. So I picked that up. Um, has good comps too, so that was nice. Hi, I'm off screen, I'm on. All right, accessories. So I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. I have no idea how to tell if this is a real bag or not. My thought is it is not real. It was $2, but it could be. But I don't know if it is because it is a Gucci, made in Italy. It's really cute, like look at that, but none of the hardware says Gucci on it, and I know some of the old bags didn't. There are no serial numbers inside. Now see, that's the thing that gets me, because it has a little spot, um, can you see that? It has this little flap that should have some writing on it, as far as I know but not all of the old bags that I've seen when I'm looking at vintage bags have that. The lining is not any of the signature Gucci's because it's older. If it, I mean, if it is real, this is from um, the old folks home. So if it is real, it's old. Um, there is some damage on the sides. There's a little separating in the leather that's coming up. So I don't even know if it's worth trying to figure out if it's real. I don't know how much it would be, but I just think it's such a cute little bag um this is all fine just a cute bag that i purchased it and it was two dollars so if it is worth nothing great i only spent two dollars if it is worth something i just have to figure out how to find that out 
any tips below type them in I will be so happy <laughs> um, yeah so I got that one. Oh, so then at the estate sale with the Wells Fargo wagon giant tractors a train set that would have filled up my whole house etc um, there was this scarf and I picked it up and it feels really nice it feels really nice so I kind of opened it up like you like you do except for one thing I purchased that was I didn't open up which was dumb um, especially after someone was talking about buying blankets and they made a mistake of not opening it I did the same thing because there's a spot on it um, otherwise it's a hundred dollar blanket but right now not so worth much okay so then I'm looking and it says that the problem is is I don't know how to tell if that is real because there are no tags on this scarf now given where I purchased it everything else I mean art collection the furniture was in I mean oh my gosh oh my gosh the furniture the toys like this was a real estate not just you know my grandma passed away and we're gonna sell all her old mug collection this mm. so there is a chance that this is a real Fendi scarf I have no idea how to prove it and I don't know it's likely not real but I still bought it just in case so I have more accessories I think oh shoes I'll do the shoes in the video with stuff from my own closet because that's stuff from my own closet or stuff that I've sourced and then kept. So yeah, there's still half a rack to go and this video is way too long. Obviously I need to talk less or talk faster. I don't know if I can talk much faster because I think I'm talking pretty quickly already, but I can work on that. Right now I think I am going to go see what the parent who called me would like. Um, I need to get out to the garden and water and then Hopefully I will come back and get the second part filmed tonight so I can upload tomorrow. I hope that you are having an awesome time shopping, that your closets are full of good things, or if you're looking to buy stuff, hey, come to my closet, stop by any time. Let me know if there's something you're looking for specifically. I'll keep an eye out. But I really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me while I share some of my finds and I will work on getting these loaded as soon as we get past the party this weekend for mom. Aha. Uh -huh. It's gonna be super joyous it's gonna be amazing to see people like friends I had our my campfire troop that mom was a leader of they're apparently all coming um, so that's gonna be really exciting um, it's also gonna be super emotional oh hello it's only your third video you can't cry on your third video right <sighs> that seems awkward okay I'm better I'm not gonna talk about whoever else is coming because then I'm just gonna get all watery apparently um, just kind of one of those years so thank you so much for stopping by I hope that you will come again because it has been super fun to share what I have found with you and I'm really excited to get started on Poshmark to get started on Poshmark helps to talk slow enough that I can actually say the words um, and I hope that you are having really good sales and also are helping people find amazing clothes that they might not be able to get otherwise so thanks so much for stopping by look for part two of this video or this week's video um probably not until friday because if i start to upload this one tomorrow and it takes a whole day like my last video just did the next one won't get uploaded until friday so hopefully this one is actually up on wednesday because i'm going to start it as soon as i get home from work and get it edited and put a little thing in the front. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye.